And now, Phillipsburg Broadcasting proudly presents Good Morning, Mr. Governor, with Francis Cardi. Good morning, Mr. Governor. Don't stop the St. Martin Carnival. When Herman Woke wrote his well-known comedy, Don't Stop the Carnival, I am sure that he was not thinking about the organizers of the 2017 St. Martin Carnival. As we monitored this year's carnival, we recognized trends that are designed to end the festiveness of carnival to the point that they are making it a cesspool of our annual cultural manifestation. What started as the end of our annual tourist seasonal months is becoming the beginning of Get Rich Scheme perpetrated by a small group of self-made cultural organizers. Whether they know it or not, their action has created the mess on Pondfield. When they restrict booth holders from buying their goods and services from whichever distributor that they wish to spend their money with. They disappointed the many visitors who like to attend the island's premier Calypso finals to move on into Juve morning the next day. And the many parents who would have enjoyed the children's parade on Saturday, April the 22nd, rather than early in Carnival, almost two weeks before. I am sure that persons involved in the organization and development of the St. Martin's Carnival will perceive these observations as just another Carnival fan who is sour about something about this year's Carnival. But in reality, this is not the opinion of one or two persons, but it's an accumulation of comments gathered by Carnival-loving residents who want to continue enjoying St. Martin Carnival. The negative story about the demise of the St. Martin Carnival, as we have grown to know it, is already written on the wall of time, and we urge all well-intended organizers to review our observations with care, because we certainly don't want anyone to stop the St. Martin Carnival, because of those who don't understand how their get-rich schemes are killing it. Good morning, Mr. Governor. That was Good Morning, Mr. Governor by Francis Cardi.